Summary of the Pedestrian by Ray Bradbury The Pedestrian is a short dystopian story about Leonard Mead's life in an unnamed city in the year 2053. It's about one night in his life. Every night, Mead likes to walk alone through the city. As he walks through the empty streets, he comes across people who are watching TV inside their houses. He's been doing this for 10 years and has never met another person. That's because everyone else is at home watching light entertainment on TV. It sounds like the other people in the city are dead because they are called grey phantoms and live in tombs. Mead likes to walk and take in the sights, sounds, and smells of everyday life. Besides talking to other people, he also talks to himself and asks them under his breath what they are watching on TV. During the same night, Mead meets a robotic police car, which is the only one that remains in the city because there is almost no crime. The car asks Mead questions to find out why he is out by himself. This asking shows that Mead is different in many ways, he doesn't have a TV, he's never been married, he lives alone, and he's a writer in a society that doesn't value writing. When the car found out how badly Mead didn't fit in, it told him to get in and told him he was going to a mental hospital to be checked for regressive habits. The car then leaves with Mead inside. About the author. Bradbury was born in Waukegan, Illinois, on August 22, 1920. As a kid, he loved reading scary stories, putting together early science fiction magazines, and going to magic shows. That was the end of his formal schooling, but Bradbury was already known as a great short story writer by that time. In the years that followed, Bradbury wrote a lot. He published hundreds of short stories, some of which were gathered in The Martian Chronicles, 1950, and The Illustrated Man, 1951. His most famous book was Fahrenheit 451. Bradbury didn't want to be called a science fiction writer, even though many of his books take place in the future and use made-up tools. He said that his books were more like myths about human nature than speculative fiction. In fact, a lot of his short stories use fantastic settings or technology from the future to talk about timeless issues like fear of the future, nostalgia, and censorship. Bradbury was known as one of the best science fiction writers of his time when he died at age 91. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.